liberated in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare the captives are set free. Let there be deliverance today. Let there be the manifestation of your divine power. Let there be the manifestation of your encounter. Encounter with your power. Encounter with your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say, Lord, this is your hour. And let your name be glorified. The ancient of days. Faithful you are from everlasting to everlasting. Holy Spirit, just take your place this morning and be enthroned. In every heart, in every spirit, you are the master. Be glorified. Take the, all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Shout amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High God. Jesus, Jesus. We acknowledge your presence, Lord, in this place. Be that lifted high. Be that magnified. Be that glorified. Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Jesus. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Jesus. There is Jesus, no one like you, Jesus. Lord. Jesus. Jesus. We bless your name. Jesus, we bless your Jesus. name. We bless your Thank name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, Lord, we bless Thank you, Jesus. Adonai, we bless your name. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. You are worthy to be praised. There is no one like you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is Lord. We all know your sweet presence in this place. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for coming in our midst this morning. We glorify you, Yeshua. We glorify you, Yahweh. We say yes, Lord. There is nothing like your presence. Hallelujah. There is nothing like your sweet presence. Nothing like your glorious presence. Can we all just stand up as we worship the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to worship you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord.
Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Yeah. Glory yeah. to your name, Jesus. To the right of God. Glory, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, righteous God. Right. Yes. Right.
for your presence. Yes, Lord. We are grateful for your love. Ba, 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 we are grateful. Ba, 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 we are grateful. Re, ba, 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 so we bless your name, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. We honor you, Lord. You are worthy. Le, ba, 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 we bless your name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. There is no one like you. For you deserve the glory. You deserve our worship this yes. morning. You deserve our praises this Zindala morning. Brekete. Adonai, we bless your name. King of kings, we worship you. For you are great. Oh. And there is no one like you. Glorious 
Praise God. We join the 24 elders this morning. Yes, can tell now we bow so before your throne. Ah. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You deserve the glory, Lord. You deserve the glory. Yeah, the
There is no one like you. Zete, zete, zete. There is no We bless your name, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We hear the sound of heaven like the sound of many waters. It's the sound of worship coming from the throne.
And they redeem. You are so holy. They you bow so before holy. your throne. The elders and the redeemed bow before you. We come to bow and worship and to worship you alone because you are our redeemer. You have redeemed us, O oh God, from every tribe, from every tongue, from every nation. That we can come to before you to bow to worship you alone. You are our maker. You are our deliverer. You are our savior. We come back to worship and to worship you alone and to declare Jesus. only you alone deserve to be worshipped. Holy, 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 holy. You are the holy God of Israel. You are the holy one of Israel. You are the holy one of Israel. We join the host of heaven. We join the elders. We join the angels to proclaim holy, 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 are you Lord God? For you are holy, Lord. You are righteous, you are holy. Our Redeemer, the Lion of Judah. The Lion of Judah, our way maker. 
We gather to worship you at the feet of your cross. We come by at the feet of the cross. Where you said it is finished and it is finished. And to declare you as the Holy One, as the Sovereign One. You are sovereign in your power, in majesty. We worship and worship you alone. The exalted King, the Lamb of God. The one that was slain 2,000 years ago. We bow before you this morning to acknowledge your Lordship. And to acknowledge your Lordship even in our life. Even at this hour, our deliverer. Our way maker, where there seems to be no way, you make a way, Lord. Our healer. Our savior. Have your way and manifest yourself this morning. And take all the glory in our midst, in your church. We are worship you, be your throne, even as we have worshipped you. May your throne be established even at the center of our heart. May your throne be established this morning, O oh God, in your church. You inhabit the praises and the worship of your people, O oh God. May you take your place divine. May you take your place the ancient of the days. May you take your place El Shaddai. You are the living God. May you take your place. May you take your place this morning and have your way unhindered. Have your way on challenge in every life to as many as you have drawn them this morning by your spirit. Let no one return the way they have come in this way. For you said in your word the expectation of the righteous shall never and shall not be cut off. Let them who are looking unto you let them who are trusting in you Oh Lord our God May you meet them at the point of their desperation May you meet them at the point of their need Let the sick be healed this morning Oh let the oppressed be delivered In the name of Jesus To as many who have come and they do not know you Let them find your light Let them find your light Let them find your light Let them encounter you this morning In your presence In the name of the Lord Jesus Blessed be your holy name. Yes. Blessed be your majestic name. Thank you. you are omnipotent. Ah, you are omniscient, the all-knowing God, yes. omnipresent. Your name is Jehovah Shema. Yes. The God who promised I will be there. Yes. The God who promised I will never leave you. Yes. The God who promised I will never forsake yes. you. The all-abiding God yes. who promised to the very end of the ages. Lo and behold, I will be with you. Yes. Oh Lord, may we see you. Manifest yourself in your faithfulness. In your faithfulness, you have promised to abide. You have promised to be there. You have promised, oh God, to go before us. Come and take your place unhindered, unchallenged in every life and be glorified on your throne in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Make a joyful noise in the house of the Lord, somebody. Hey, make a joyful noise to the King of Kings. Make a joyfulness to Redeemer, to your Redeemer, to your Redeemer. Oh, if the King of Glory is your Redeemer, make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the King of Glory is your Redeemer, ah, make a joyful noise. Shout a shout of triumph. Ah, I did not hear you. I did not hear you. Shout a shout of triumph. If the King of Glory. If the King of Glory, the I am that I am, oh, is your God, shout his praise, make a joyful noise, hallelujah. hallelujah. The King of Glory wants to come in. Every everlasting gate must give way, hallelujah. Amen. As you declare your praises, the gates are lifted up, hallelujah. Amen. The ancient gates are lifted up, hallelujah. Amen. And the King of Glory will come in this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And he will do his divine purposes because he is the Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Amen. And he is the omniscient and the all-knowing God who knows you from the beginning of creation to the ends of creation. 
And he brought you here for a divine encounter with him. Hallelujah. May you not miss the hour of your visitation. May you not miss the hour of your encounter. You have an appointment today with the king of kings. You have an, an encounter today with the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Amen. And with your deliverer and with your waymaker. You may be seated in his presence. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the heavenly places. He has exalted you. And the Bible says we are seated together with him. Far above every power. Far above every principality. My brother and my sister, when you sit in the presence of the Lord, sit with dignity. Somebody say dignity. dignity. I did not hear you. Say sit with dignity. dignity. Yes, because God has elevated you. You don't sit in an ordinary seat. You sit in the place of glory. You sit in the place of what? Power. Because the Lord, our God, has exalted us, hallelujah, together to be seated. He has elevated you far above. And together we are seated with him on his throne of glory and power. Hallelujah. That is a victory a child of God has. That is a victory the redeemed of the Lord has. And if you are seated together with him, where is your enemy? Somebody say, it, he is under my feet. And where would your enemy be? Your enemy is subjected under your feet. There is no suggestion. There is no two places as we are in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And you are seated together with him. The Bible said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit down on my right hand until I make your enemies your food. Psalm 110.1. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down on my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. And is the Lord seated on the right hand? Yes. Hallelujah. And is the Lord seated together with you? Yes. Then there is an expectation of faith that your position is at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. Hallelujah. No demon, no principality, no accord can be able to contain with you. We'll be able to contend with the power of God. We're we'll to contend with the grace of God. You just need to remind him, my Lord said, said, said sit down with me. And I'm seated together with my Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sovereign above every power. I'm sovereign above every principality. I'm sovereign above every witch or every wizard that has been sent against my life. I will remind them, get thee behind me. Matter of fact, get thee under my feet. Hallelujah. Amen. But that is the place of authority. Hallelujah. Amen. And my Lord and my Savior crushed the head of that old serpent who was trying again. Hallelujah. Amen. When he went up to the cross, he crushed the head of the serpent. So the serpent cannot manipulate over a child of God. The serpent can no longer suggest anything to the child of God because the heel of that seed of the woman crushed and bruised his head forever. Amen. It was a technical knockout for the enemy over the life of any child of God. Don't say that Satan is troubling you. Satan cannot trouble you. Because the king of glory crushed the head of the serpent. Hallelujah. It was a final victory over the child of the life of a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We celebrate him this morning. We celebrate his resurrection. We celebrate his power in our means again. And we give him all the praise. And we give him all the glory. We have worshipped the Lord God. In spirit and in truth. Because the Bible says he is a spirit. And now is the time when every true worshiper, every true believer, worship the Father in spirit and in truth. There is a powerful encounter to worship him. And an experience that is inexplicable. Because you receive a direct encounter with the power of God. You are translated in the spiritual realm. You rise in the supernatural dimension and you become dangerous from the Sunday morning throughout the rest of the week. Amen. Are you hearing me, somebody? You become dangerous from Sunday morning throughout the rest of the week. Hallelujah. Amen. You are translated into the supernatural dimension on the Sunday morning if you are a true worshiper. Hallelujah. And you have worshipped the Father in spirit and in truth. You, you move away from the natural dimension to supernatural dimension. That is why your weak is dangerous that is ahead of you coming. Hallelujah. Amen. And the enemy knows it. So you cannot miss an encounter on a Sunday morning to come and worship your Redeemer and to worship your Savior. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. We are about to come to the Lord with 
thanksgiving, to give him an offering and give him our tithe. Amen? Amen. He has been so good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't give to God because we want God to give to us. We give to God because God has already given to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For God so loved the way he gave his only begotten son. And the Bible said through him, he will know we hold nothing good from us. So through Jesus Christ, he has given us all things that we have needed in this life. He spared not the natural branches. And the Bible says he will not withhold nothing good. Your healing, your deliverance, your provision for everything for life and godliness. It is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the Bible says we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings. Ephesians 1, 3. In heavenly places by Christ Jesus. So we see that all provision. And he says, my God will supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ. Jesus. I can do all things through Christ. So the power and ability to make wealth and to do everything belong to God. That is why a child of God cannot withhold anything any longer from God. Because by revelation, as you give back unto the Lord, out of an appreciation of a merry and a good heart, not grudgingly, God will make all grace abound over your life again. That you may continually have all sufficiency in all things and you may lack nothing. Hallelujah. It is just a principle of understanding the goodness of the Lord, how faithful it is. There's a man in the Bible called Jacob. I love the story of Jacob. Can we put Genesis 28? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us, I tell you, for indeed, we have appeared in a place where we are dreaming. We are fulfilling our dream opportunities. <laughs> our dreamland. We're dreaming to be in that land of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. And God in his infinite love and goodness for us, he drew us out of the dungeon of the darkness, the misery, the frustration of our life, and he brought us to his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So brethren, if you look backwards, you can have a better appreciation of where God has taken you to. It is only when we don't reflect how far he has brought us that we lack the understanding to believe him when he says, give your tithe and your offering unto the Lord. We still do not understand the mystery. No, from verse 18. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We still do not understand because there is something within man lacking appreciation. We only want more and more and more and more. Man is never satisfied. But if you are content in Jesus... You will be satisfied. Hallelujah. Amen. Our satisfaction is in him. When we trust him, we will find true satisfaction that comes only from him alone. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We see the patriarchs from Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob. And the Bible says, you know, Isaac had sent Jacob to go and get married to his wife. So Isaac released Jacob, said, go and get married. Go and get married to your wife. You have to leave this place. And the Bible says, I, I, and Jacob rose up early in the morning and took a stone. But this is the conclusion of the matter. Hallelujah. Amen. On his journey to go to where he had received divine instruction from God. I want to cut this very story short. Hallelujah. He went on and he had an encounter in a place where he slept and he had a dream. Hallelujah. Amen. He began to find, he began to dream. He began to dream and the heavens suddenly were open as he was dreaming. Hallelujah. Amen. But he was on assignment. He was doing the will of the Father. How are you understanding me? Uh, and so you got to be in the will of God. You have to understand that whatever God commands you to do, God has already made provision. You only need obedience and to be faithful Amen. in order to do. You, you may not even understand what the journey may mean. Hallelujah. Amen. His father did the same. When God told him to leave his kindred, he left for three days journey and knew not where he was going. It was still trusting and believing and obeying God when he says leave. 
So during this time on the journey, he came to a place and he slept and he had a dream. When he rose up early in the morning, he took a stone that he had put for his pillows. Because when he lay down, he was tired. And that place where he rested on his way, he came to a city called Luz. And at that point, something happened to him. He gasped and heavens were opened. And he saw angels. They were descending and ascending upon a ladder. It was like a mystery. So in that dream, when he got up, his eyes were open. He said, behold and behold. He said, what happened to me in this place? And the Bible said he set up a pillar and he poured oil upon it. Hallelujah. Amen. And he called the name of the place Bethel. Somebody say Bethel. Bethel. Because the name of that city was Luz, was called Luz at the first. But Jacob called it Bethel. And Jacob vowed a vow. The name was called Bethel because of an encounter Jacob had found because God revealed himself. God arrested him on his pathways. Amen? Amen? And Jacob did something powerful. He said he made a vow, and a vow saying, if God will be with me, and will keep me in this way, hallelujah, Amen. if God will be with me, and he will keep me in this way, that I go, he says, and we give me bread to eat, and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall the Lord be my God. Hallelujah. Amen. And in verse 22, he says, And this, hallelujah. Amen. Verse 22. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's an exciting experience, but God, Jacob made a covenant with God, and he proclaimed that if God has proven himself that he's God with me in this journey, and he revealed himself wherever I'm going, and I know that for sure I'm not going on my own assignment, but I'm going with him, and he is with me. Praise the Lord. In fact, it came to uh, the next Bible says, and then verse 29 of Genesis, then came, went on to the journey, and came into the land of the people of the east. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, verse 22 brought an encounter where the Bible says, Jacob made a commitment. Amen? Amen. So he will give one tenth of everything that God will give to him in that place where he has left him to find. He made a commitment. So he commanded, he said, God, if you have been so good to me, you've proven yourself faithful to lead me. You've revealed yourself to this one. You've been with me. So anything that you will bless me. So he was provoking his blessing in advance. Hallelujah. Amen. He was doing what? Provoking his blessings in advance. In other words, he was putting God in perspective to the fact that God Whatsoever you will make me to be, and he made a covenant with the Lord. So tithing is a covenant. Somebody say covenant. It's a covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a covenant that you establish with God. And God will never break his covenant because Abraham tithed and paid ten of his points when he was returning from the slaughter. He gave ten of everything that God had blessed him, and he became prosperous. The Bible says his father Isaac. In Genesis 26, he planted in the same year upon the land. His, Isaac did what? He sowed what? A seed in the land that his, the Lord his God had brought. And he received a hundredfold. Somebody say hundredfold. A hundredfold. God gave him one hundredfold of the seed he planted in the land. Do you know that Isaac became so prosperous? He had sheep and cattle as prosperous as his father Abraham. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the covenant of giving and tithing to the Lord is very powerful. So establish yourself in that Abrahamic covenant. We we'll look at the whole beautiful thing. In, in uh, Hebrew chapter 7, it paints the beautiful picture of Abraham's giving unto the Lord and how to be we need to chain ourselves to that covenant and say, Lord, I can trust you when I don't even know what tomorrow may hold. But I believe that you are with me in the journey. And I know your plan for me are for good 
and not for evil. Amen? Amen. I know your plan is to prosper me. Hallelujah. Amen. To give me a hope and to give me a future and to bring me to an expected good end. So there is a perfect good end when we trust God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we worship the Lord now? So let there be a willingness first in our heart when we come to give to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Let there be first a willingness. God says give first with what? A willingness. According to the abilities. So let us give back to God. Amen. Amen. And God has blessed all of us severally. He said as it is determined in what? Our hearts. Because nobody knows what God has blessed you with. You are the first person that has a testimony about the goodness of God upon your life. Amen. Amen. And so let a man give according as it is determined in his heart. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 6 to 10. We see the beautiful picture. And God has been faithful along the way. Amen. Amen. Not for necessity's sake, but out of what? A joyful heart, a merry heart. My God is so good to me. Hallelujah. And I will bless him. And the Bible Amen. says, he that giveth what? Seek to the sower. Hallelujah. Amen. And bread for food. Are you hearing me? Amen. What does God do? He gives seed. Power and ability belongs to God. And the Bible says he gives seed to them who are planting in due season. Hallelujah. Amen. And he also gives bread for food also. Ha, ha, ha. But when you trust him, with the first fruit of this, the bread he has given you. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says he will take that one and he will multiply it. And your storehouses will not lack any. Are you hearing me? Amen. So it is a powerful principle in the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. That when you give back to God, he will take that bread. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So there is always abundance. Good measure coming down, shaking together. I'd like us to thanks and worship God and bring our offering to him in Jesus' name. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. Who no things that you have done. I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. Hey. It is coming from my heart. Praise and
from the Father, in the name of Jesus, we are rejoicing and dancing from the mountain top because you have elevated us far above every principality, far above every power, and you have taken us to be upon the mountain top. We are dancing and rejoicing on the mountain top, basking in the abundance of your provision. And we are so grateful this morning that you have given us. The privilege to be drawn into your presence. You have made us to see this day. And you said, this is a day you've made and we should rejoice. We should be glad in it. We celebrate you, oh God. We celebrate you for the gift of life. We celebrate you for the breath that we have even in our lungs today. For being in good health, for we know many are in the hospitals. Many died in their dream, in their sleep. They never saw this day. In your goodness, you have drawn us, O oh God, into a brand new day. We worship you, Lord. Even as we have given our tithes and offerings unto you, Lord, we pray, King of glory, you will receive it, you will bless it, you will multiply it for the use, for the furtherance of your kingdom in this local city in Bowie, in the state of Maryland, to America and the world at large in the name of Jesus. Say so you make our grace abound, even as we have given. We may lack nothing, we may have all sufficiency in all things in our life. Multiply your grace upon the sources that are provided this morning. You give seed to the sower and bread for food. You are the same God. You are the same God, Lord. May you honor your word this morning in the life of your people. That you will take, oh God, the seed and even the bread and you shall multiply it. Our storehouses shall not have enough room to contain the abundance of your provision. You give power and ability that we may make world. Lord, remember each one of your children. Remember your covenant. Our blessing to them who give to you joyfully and not grudgingly. Honor your word. So you shall give back good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. You say men shall also give unto thy bosom in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We say take all the glory. Take all the honor and take all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I bring to us a few very important updates and announcements. But by the way, I want to recognize... Uh, the presence of uh, some wonderful people who are here. Amen? Amen. I'm so blessed uh, to have with us here today. Uh, one more time, we want to honor the presence of a uh, mother in the faith, Dr. Juliet Amen. and Mike Hop. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We love you. We thank you again for your presence in our midst. Been a great blessing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to recognize also the presence of our beloved brother, who is a friend, also and a brother, Brother Pierre Esoma. Amen. Come and recognize the brother here. Amen. I want to say that I was blessed by your spirit today 
in worship. It's a spirit. Brian Bellis said, preserve us of the church. Your presence in a place brings the awareness of God. God bless you. You know, I met our brother again at the conference, and uh, he kept his word that I will be with you all sometime. Hallelujah. He called me yesterday. He said that I want to be with you all today. Praise the Lord. A wonderful blessing, wonderful spirit, wonderful brother. We had a great time of prayer. Hallelujah. I also want to recognize uh, our wonderful daughter here. Praise the Lord. Amen. And also a family friend. Charlotte. Hallelujah. Do. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonderful family. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to recognize the wonderful blessing of one of our church members who is even away from us in, in, in person, but she's always present in the spirit. Hallelujah. It's more powerful. It's more better for you to be absent in person and you are present in the spirit than to be present in person, you are absent in the spirit. So I always say that it is more better. Hallelujah. So I want to recognize Mommy Miska in our midst and let me praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. She is very faithfully in all the fasts that the church has declared I have been so blessed by her presence. She loves the Lord. Amen. Her heart longed after the Lord. The things of God. Hallelujah. We want to say we love you. Amen. Amen. And welcome again in the house of the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I want to recognize some three beautiful people also at the back of the church. Hallelujah. Amen. I think I have some glimpses of on some idea about who these people may be. Hallelujah. I like for them to introduce themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to welcome all of them together before we go to our announcements. Would you please be able to stand up and tell us your name? All the beautiful ladies at the back of the church, three of you. Um, I believe this, the three ladies here. Hallelujah. Amen. Those three. Yeah, I, I'm just used to the much. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. My, my name is um, Flora. This is my first time attending this service. And so far, from what I think the five have been blessed so far. So we thank God. Hallelujah. Yes. Wow, God bless you, Claudia. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Belsin, yeah. and uh, as Flora's mom, we are here to support our heavenly for her Thanksgiving today. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What do we say to all of them? Vicky, Vicky, we also have got, she's been with us back and forth and again. Amen. She's not typically a stranger. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm Vicky. I'm here for Thanksgiving. And I'm grateful and I'm happy to be here. Amen. Thank you. Amen. What do we say? You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord, we can sing you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We love you. We love you with the love of the Lord. We love you with the love of the Lord. We can sing you the glory of the Lord. We love you with the love of the Lord. We love you with the love of the Lord. We love you.
love you with the love of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You may remain seated for a moment. We bring you some very important announcements about our congregation, our church. We are CMFI Tabernacle of Praise in Bowie, Maryland. And uh, our mission, our vision and our mission is to lead men and women into an everlasting relationship with Jesus Christ. So it's not just leading them to a relationship, to an everlasting relationship with Jesus Christ. We start with you in the beginning of the process where you have to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And we walk with you through the process of keeping Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Walking out your salvation unto the point where we shall exit to heaven together. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall all go to heaven. So it's our joy. Every family member here is a member that we know we are together on a journey to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Even as we sit here today, so shall we also be again in the kingdom of our Father and our God. It shall even be more glorious. And I don't want to miss none of you who are here today. By virtue of your presence that God brought you through this ark. This is the ark of God. Hallelujah. Amen. There is everything that is going on in the world today. But if you are here, you are safe, you are secure, you are sound. There is guarantee. Hallelujah. Amen. That you shall make it. But you need to trust God. Why?